Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about why not to use an automatic car wash. Now the first sort of automated car wash was in 1914 in Detroit where they called it automated laundry for cars. And really, it was just basically three guys that pushed the car through. One guy lathered it up, soaped it up, one guy rinsed it, and the other guy drove it. So it was basically just three guys hand washing your car. But then things really changed. The Anderson family out of Seattle invented a totally automated car wash where the car was pulled through by machine and washed mechanically. Now to begin with, Washing your car isn't like washing yourself. You want to exfoliate yourself with a brush to get the dead skin cells off. But when you're washing a car, you don't want to take anything off. You don't want to take the wax off. You don't want to rub the paint off. So using brushes isn't such a hot idea. You don't want these brushes ripping fast, beating against your paint. Because it doesn't matter if they clean them once in a while, these brushes get covered with dirt. Dirt is friction, the little pieces of dirt are like little sandpaper. They're going to put micro scratches on your paint. And just to play the devil's advocate, even if they clean them, which they rarely do, the car in front of you is covered with dirt. These brushes are cleaning it off, right? A lot of that dirt's going to be on the brushes. So when it comes to your car, there's all that dirt that's now being whacked against your car. They'd have to clean it every time, which they certainly don't. And for deep cleaning on those automatic car washes, a lot of them use hydrofluoric acid. You don't want acid being sprayed on your car. Of course, that's going to eat up the paint and stuff. And to add insult to injury, you're often going to end up with water spots on the car. Yeah, they have those blowers that blow your car as they go through at the end, but they don't take all the water off. Heck, look at this. There's water all over the place on one I just ran through. They really don't dry it all that well. Plus, when do you get your car washed? When it's sunny outside. You don't get your car washed when it's raining. So since it's sunny outside, you go out, the sun is going to beat down on these water spots, and they're going to bake them into your paint. They can be a real hassle to get out. Then I know some people are going to say, Scotty, what about those car washes where it's an automated car wash, and at the end, they got guys that are drying up by hand. Well, you got to beware of that, too, in most cases, because they're washing all kinds of cars there and then drying them. You think those towels are going to be clean for very long, and you see the guys are dropping them on the ground, dirt's on them, they're picking them up, and they dry the car. You know, it doesn't do such a good job when you do something one after the other after the other using the same equipment. I use my own bucket and my own clean wool mitt and my own clean microfiber towels to dry it and guess what? I only do one car at a time. Then I'll just wash that stuff in the washing machine later when I wash my work clothes so the next time I do it all the stuff's clean and it works good. And if you want actual proof of the problem of automatic car washes Here's my old silicone that I bought from a customer years ago. She went through automated car washes all the time. Look how faded the paint is. And here's my wife's Lexus that I bought used from a customer who never used automated car wash and always hand washed them. Look how shiny it still is. So if you want your car's paint to last a long time and always look shiny, stay away from automatic car washes. And really, look at the sloppy job this one did. There's still dirt all over the place. So much for the cleaner and blower. It did a horrible job. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.